Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for braving the heat and coming out today. My name's Richard Bainey, your auctioneer. A happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone from the team in green. I've got Matthew Everingham, Dean Wren, my Lee here today. And please feel free to come up to any of us and ask for any assistance during the auction. Uh, of course, terms of uh, special terms and conditions of the auction today, ladies and gentlemen, are subject to the reserve price. The highest bidder shall be the purchaser. In the event of a disputed bid, the auctioneer is the sole arbitrator and his decision is final. The auctioneer can refuse any bid which he believes is not in the best interest of the vendor. A bidder is deemed to be the, print, the purchaser unless prior to today's auction we've received written authority advising that they're bidding for or on behalf of another. At the end of the auction today, ladies and gentlemen, the successful purchaser will be required to sign our contract of sale and provide a deposit for 10% of the purchase price. Our bidder, a vendor is allowed to make one bid on their own behalf and if it is required, it will be clearly announced. Uh, all registered bidders must have a card, so if you do wish to bid today, make sure you see any of our team and they can organise a bidding registered card for you. And of course, we ask you to bid early, we ask you to bid loud and very clearly as we can't accept late bids and we will not. Our contract today has been prepared by our vendor solicitor Nan Sheen Associates, very well known in the area, and they describe the property as lot two in Strata Plan 81174, being two of 38 4th Avenue in Campsie. Settlement terms are 42 days from the date of today. There is a tenant in there at the moment. Please note that the lease is $520 a week. The lease has expired, so if you are an owner or occupier looking to move in, it can be easily arranged with vacant possession for you. All the inclusions have been marked, blinds, fixed floor coverings, the light fittings, the range hood, and of course the stove. Uh, anyone who's had interest has obviously had a good chance to go through all the special conditions. And they've of course seen the sewer diagram, certificate of title, and everything that's expected of the contract of sale. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what an absolute thrill, an absolute thrill to be standing here before you at 38 4th Avenue in Campsie. A block of just six townhouses. Have a look around you. Plenty of units around here, very hard to get into the townhouse market. We've got vendors ultra realistic as well. It's a block of just six, it's very private, it's very secure. It's 137 square metres inside and out of townhouse, 16 square metre car space, and of course two square metres for the storage area. That's a total area, a total area of 155 square metres. What a massive townhouse, it's so nice to be able to say 155 square metres when we're so used to saying 78 square metres these days. Of course, the, the, we've got two bedrooms upstairs, we've got the two bathrooms upstairs as well. The master bedroom has the ensuite and walk-in wardrobe. You've got balconies off both bedrooms. Gorgeous north-facing balcony off the master bedroom. You've got the security car space as mentioned and storage. Easy walking distance to Campsie Station. You don't need a car. You can walk to Beamy Street and you've got a plethora of shops to go to. It's also very central to Burwood, Burwood Westfield, Burwood Schools, all the highly sought schools of the local area. You've got parks absolutely everywhere. And of course, the wonderful amenities that Camsey has to offer. As we look around, you can see so many amazing prices being achieved and we've got a vendor that's screaming for us to sell the property today. We've got a property for you that has everything, everything from A to Z. And it comes to the market right now for you to bid. Who wants to kick us off? Who's going to start? I'm looking to you to start the bidding. Don't all go quiet on me now. It's four o'clock and 40 degrees. We're all looking to get cracking. 690,000, can I just see your number please, ma'am? 690,000 at the back with Dean. Let's move it in $10,000 or more. At 690,000, I'm looking for 700. At 690,000. And 700 with Matthew Everingham. The bid's at $700,000, it's against you, Dean. At $700,000, let's keep it moving in tens if we can. At $700,000, I'm looking for 710, ma'am. At 700, and 10, $710,000. It's with you, Dean, at 710 against your buyer, Matthew. At 710,000, a block of six townhouses in the heart of Campsie. $710,000. 15. He's dropped it pretty quickly there, Matt. Can I take 10 or just five? Just the five? 15. At 715, I'll extend the same courtesy to you, ma'am. At $715,000, do I hear 20 or more? $715,000, first call. At $715,000, second call. $720,000, just in the nick of time. We can keep moving in fives if you like, sir, at $720,000. 
have a look around. On peak hour on a Saturday afternoon, you can hear a whisper. You can hear a pen drop. Who looks to move at $720,000, Matthew? We can't wait any longer. First call. Second call. Looking for 725 or more. Who else would like to join in? $720,000. And a half. Matt, uh, 500. He's stretching. He's stretching. <laughs> we'll pluck everything for our vendors. We always work hard for our vendors at Richard Matthews Real Estate. So that's another 500 on top, Dean. 720,500. Ma'am, I'm suggesting the knockout blow at 725. At 700, or 30. At 720,500. $720,500. First call. Second call, I'll give you the same courtesy of 500. 721, ma'am. At 720,000. 721. You started it, sir. At $721,000. A shake of the head, Matthew. Never a good sign. At $721,000. I'm looking around. Well, he said he was stretching. <laughs> He's not lying. At 721,000. First call. I'll give all our registered bidders a chance. Our vendor's here to sell, make no mistake. Second call at 721,000. Third and final call. As I breathe in one last time for all the viewers watching on Gavel. I always add a few kilos on camera. Done, Dean. We'll get some instructions if you don't mind, if you want to come through. We're that close. We have vendors here to sell, ladies and gentlemen. We're not wasting your time, but please don't let it stop you from bidding. Matthew and Dean will only be a minute. Not to me. It's a great day to be representing the team in green, by the way. I wish everyone the luck of the Irish. As a proud St. Patrick Strathfield old boy, I'm wearing the St. Pat's cufflinks today. It doesn't appear as though anyone cares, but I thought I'd share that. I also do a great rendition of the school anthem if you'd like me to start at any time. We shouldn't be too much longer, guys. The bid $721,000, sir. Done. I'll give you the same Just in time, sir. Sorry. No, please, make a bid. <laughs> Isn't it fantastic to actually be looking at property so close to two train stations? Burwood and Campsie. Probably walk to Campsie, catch a bus to Burwood. And for those of you who know the area so well, you'll support me when I say that you can walk to everything from this spot. Absolutely everything. Richard Matthews Real Estate very proudly sold 69 Queen Street in Nashville today. A uh, conservation home, actually. Corner block, 1650000 Don't believe the papers, it's still very strong in our inner west region. Maybe there's just something in our coffee. How are we doing, guys? No, guys, we're, we're that far away. So I think Dean's doing the right thing in extending the courtesy to our highest bidder.
We'll just give it a moment. Obviously, everyone vested in the area will know the most recent sale was number four. Number four in this very block late last year sold for 768. So it's a great opportunity for somebody. Maybe just that slight increase could be what actually puts our vendor on the market. I need some instructions here. Wait for a moment. Seven hundred and twenty-one thousand, Matthew. Any further? Second? Matthew, instructions? Seven hundred and twenty-one thousand. Dean, I need an answer. <coughs> Ma'am, a number. Dean. At 721,000, I need an answer, ma'am. Quick ride for a phone call there. We're almost hitting a crescendo. <laughs> I think it's only right, ladies and gentlemen, with such an important decision for all the families that we give them every chance every chance to secure the property, so you're still in it. You haven't lost it yet. At 721,000. Okay, we're nearing the end of this phone call and I think it's the difference between buying and walking away. That's how close we are right now, ladies and gentlemen, so please bear with us. We're at 721,000 for all our registered bidders or anyone else who'd like to get involved. You can still register during the auction. Patiently riding hard here. <coughs> a 
again, sir, just a small block of six. I can see you thinking. Or reading the terms and conditions. One moment, Richard. Matthew working hard. Our listing agent, Dean Wren. It's a heck of a build up, Matt. Have a chat to them. All right, it seems like we're quite firm here at the 721. Matthew's going to get some final... the market that's a good build up for something at 721,000 we're on the market and we're selling it's against you sir at 721,000 everyone's joining in for the fun part now at 721,000 you've got a chance there Matt I'll give him a chance he's had no first call second call Dean mine any more Matthew Third and final call, the hammer rises. We're done. It's with your people, Dean. Finish. $721,000. Sold to you, man. Congratulations. You've won the property after all that. Coffee's on us, ladies and gentlemen. Come and help yourselves. For those of you who haven't had a chance,